One of the things that I love about playing a game for the very first time is that the entire experience is brand new. There's there's nothing about it that, I mean, apart from, say, cover art and whatever description they have on the back, and maybe a game trailer or two, you really don't know what you're in for. From the moment you load it up and go to the menu screen till the very last cutscene and credits, the whole experience is completely fresh and you can go back to it later but you're expecting certain things there's cues you're going to pick up on and there are some games and I could mention quite a few of my favorites where the emotional things in the cues hold up every single time I play the game but it never compares to the very first time it's it's so unique in in, in the moment that you're playing it for that very first time, when something happens, whether it's um, progression of the plot, uh, maybe the death of a character, or just a sudden twist, you haven't seen that coming. And even if there's like one character who is on your side, but you can tell from a mile away, he's going to turn on me. You're still not. 100% ready for how or when it happens or what happens as a result. You get what I'm saying. And definitely with games now and movies too, in fact, a lot of entertainment mediums or anything in general, really, it's very, how should I say this? You have to do some legwork and enforce some self-discipline to protect that experience because i mean think about the last any movie really that's come out in the last little while and you could easily ruin it for yourself the moment it hits theaters by punching its name in on google and reading the entire plot summary on wikipedia or even just being around a group of friends who have seen the movie and they're discussing oh you remember when that happened and oh could you believe this oh my god i can't believe they did that that's already ruined a few things for you. And it's not entirely their fault. Really, it's more, I guess, uh, what would be a good word for it? Lack of a better term, it's, it's, it's just collateral, social collateral damage. There we go. And it's just something that you have to deal with. But definitely with the internet and like the immediacy, the speed at which you can access information on pretty much anything, it's very easy to be tempted to just hitting a few keys, and indulging your curiosity. And it's happened quite a few times. I mean, in my case, let's say there's been a game or a movie that I'm not really, like, everybody around me is, like, raving about it, and I'm thinking, like, I really don't want to go see this. I really don't want to spend money on this. Let's just see what it's about so maybe I can glean something, and maybe that'll entice me to play or watch it, because there is always a chance. And, you know, do the exact same thing, punch it in, read the plot summary, and go, oh, it's not really that great, or, eh, that doesn't sound that fun. But in doing that, I rob myself of the experience, so I limit that as much as I can. And definitely when it comes to video games, and the ones that I can really say, I'm glad the experience wasn't ruined for me, were games like uh, The Last of Us, or uh, Red Dead Redemption, or Dead Space, three of my favorite games, one in like the top 10 of my all-time favorite game franchises. And if it had been any other way, if, if the twists and the endings had been ruined for me, I don't think I would have liked them as much. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I, I wouldn't have had the same experience, the enjoyment. And all of this to say coming back to what I said about doing legwork and enforcing some self-discipline, it's so easy to ruin the experience for yourself that I think if you are, we'll apply it to games and movies, mainly games though, if there is a game that you've been looking forward to, you pre-ordered it, you put down some money, you waited months and months and months and months, and it finally comes out, Maybe a few people get it before you. Maybe they're friends and they want to talk to you about it. Shut them down. Shut them down right away. 
don't watch any I, I would even stay away from reviews if you know enough that you're excited about this game don't let a review dissuade you unless you start hearing all over the place that oh my god this is shit then you might want to take a bit of notice and go oh, maybe I should reevaluate my purchase here but ignoring that shut down any conversation about the game itself whether it's good or bad the story the plot the twists the oh my god moments stay away from it I, I like to call it like you're basically going into hermit mode and the reason you're doing that is to protect the experience for yourself because like I said you're only going to get that wow experience once it's only going to happen once and it's going to be the very first time that you play the game and you know what again it may become one of those games that you come back to time and time again because there is something about the journey that you just love but even if that does end up being the case it will never compare to the very first time you play that game from start to finish and how you feel before during and after that's never going to happen again it's a very unique experience and i suppose the same could be said about really anything really special that happens in life or any experience you have in life you're only going to get that initial sensation that that initial buzz once so certainly when it comes to games though a little i guess a little bit of homework for you the next time you crack into one that you've never played before at all be very mindful of of the moment allow yourself to get sucked into the game and the story and and the experience and the fun i've got i've said experience like 50 times can't help it it's the only word for it let that happen but when you save pause put the game down for a while take a moment to appreciate what's happening there because everything that you're getting out of it personally while you're playing that game right up until it's done you pop it out put it back in its case or if it's digitally just shut down the application whatever be very mindful that that moment will never come around again you got it once and it's gone. That's it. A little food for thought. Some appreciation for enjoying your video game for the very first time. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Thoughts on Gaming. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, again, if you have any suggestions, comments, uh, whether you agree or disagree, anything really, leave it down in the comments section. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'm Rye. Take care of yourselves.